from Bonnie Bay Crochet and you've come to Friday Fun Live. Yay! <laughs> so glad to be here. Let me adjust this. As you can see, I'm in a new location uh, somewhere south of the Mason-Dixon line in the state of Georgia. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and mute my computer. There we go. It looks like I have a feed this time. Yay! Well, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I'm a little tired. <laughs> To be quite honest, I um, did a lot of driving yesterday. I'm kind of taking the southerly route on my way back north in a few days. So i um, really excited to visit my children and, and um, you know, be in places that I haven't haven't seen in a while. So and, and it's it's really wonderful. This morning I went um, went out for a drive on my way from one place to another and it was 66 degrees in the south. That that just feels fabulous. Um, my hubby tells me it's like 48 degrees going back home, but since we love wearing ponchos and sweaters, right? Yay! Um, we can start to break them out, and um, I've got a brand new poncho pattern. Well, it's kind of a, a review of an older pattern I've had for years, but I've never videotaped it. So I videotaped, listen to me, never recorded the tutorial. So I do have a new tutorial that's going to follow the crochet along and the crochet along starts in 10 days and we're going to talk a little bit about that but today i'm going to try to go through as many of your comments as possible um, i i don't have a written agenda of any kind so um i hope to spend a really fun hour just just interacting with you um, and if you've come to this live for the very first time and expecting a stitch demonstration i'm sorry to disappoint this is mostly a social time to um, connect with our little community here. And it is a wonderful community, by the way. Um, if, you, if you've watched any of these and, and read through the comments, we're all about we're all about the craft and we're all about encouraging one another. And um, well, anyway, and I also wanna thank you, uh, thank my, my moderators, um, Hannah and Esther, thank you so much for serving me today and keeping us all safe. Well, let me go ahead and say hey to some of you all. Um, we have Rose. Hey, Rose, thank you for being in our chat. Um, she's asking about the gray blanket. I'm thinking you're talking about the one here. This is actually a very old design. This was in my very first um, official publication called Aaron, let's see, Aaron, it was Aaron Afghan's Two Crochet is the name of it. It's a leisure arts publication. They're no longer printing it in booklet form, but you can get a PDF. All you got to do is go to Leisure Arts and look for Aaron Afghan's Two Crochet, and you should be able to find it there. Um, but thanks for asking about that. We have Calming Waters. Thank you for your support. Um, she says she specifically bought the pattern. Uh, on the book for the pattern on the thumbnail for this, I guess this pattern, I guess is the one you're talking about. Um, yeah, that was, that was, again, that was my first publication. I was just over the moon to be able to do this. Um, and we have Margita. Hey, Margita. It's go so good to see you. And um, Leanne and uh, Marie. So sorry we couldn't get together this time, but um, so, so glad that you're here. And Lynn. And let's see, she says, stay safe and keep smiling. Yeah, yeah, by the grace of God, yes. And Tracy is in our chat, she says, good morning, Yarny peeps. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day. It's Friday, amen. Woo-hoo is right. Um, yeah, Brenda Mack, she says, visiting DC earlier this week. Hey, you're in my, my stomping grounds, Brenda. Um, tripped oh, on an uneven cobblestone, broken left elbow. That's not good at all. Surgery Monday. Ah, oh, Brenda, I'm so sorry to hear that. That cannot be any fun. Mm -mm -mm. So, so sorry to hear that. And, um, oh, yeah, Tracy's sympathizing with you there. Um, wow, you guys are so great. Um, just, Brenda says, worst thing besides pain, can't crochet. Yeah, the elbow, that's, that's pretty important. It's really funny how everything is all connected. Um, that is a problem. Uh, let's see, we have Ross. So sorry, Brenda. Wow. Um, we have Ross and chat. And let's see. Um, oh, Brenda says, I am right-handed, but I had no idea what all I could do without my left hand. You know, <laughs> that is so true. 
Um, I am right-handed also. I, sometimes I think I, my left hand is useless, but it's it's really a support for my right hand. So my right hand can't really do much without my left hand supporting it. You're right. Um, uh, I just had a bunch of comments load. I'm going to try to get through these today, guys. Um, don't have a lot of stuff to show you, just to let you know. Uh, I think I showed you everything last week. Uh, let's see. Um, Oh, thank you for the plug, Tracy. I so appreciate that. Um, uh, hold on a second. Okay, I'm trying to keep up with the comments here. Um, Tracy said, I got two books in the mail yesterday, Bonnie's Celtic Throws and Mikey's The Crochet Crowd. It's taking everything I have not to start more projects. <laughs> Yeah, I've got that book waiting for me at home, too. So I'm looking forward to reading through that one as well, Tracy. Um, we have Wanda Gordon. She says, good morning, Miss Bonnie and everyone from a be beautiful day in Bahama, North Carolina. Praying all are safe and well. Yeah, yeah, the weather is just great in the South right now. Um, we have Alana. She says, good morning to y'all. I guess I should say it that way, too. And um, let's see. We have Rosandra. And Hildegard, just hope you're all doing well and looking to see what everyone is working on. Um, yeah, Tracy, I wish we could post pictures in the chat too, but you can always post pictures on my Facebook page. And I know that, you know, a lot, so maybe some of you aren't fans of Facebook. I totally get that. Um, but it, it, it's, it is a good place if you, I don't know, if you just kind of skip the drama. <laughs> I guess that could be said of everything these days. But um, yeah, I got to try to not do the drama thing. Um, don't want to be a drama llama or something like that. Um, yeah, so you can always send it to me. I'm also on Instagram. If you look in the video description below, you can post on Instagram and share with us or uh, again on Facebook. And I, I do love posting things like that. And, um, you know, um, I, I have a request I'm going to talk to you all about in just a bit concerning the crochet along coming up. Um, and thank you, Alana, for your support. Uh, appreciate that. Um, you guys are really, really so kind with um, the book purchases and stuff like that. Um, I don't like to <laughs> always be pushing things at you, truthfully. Um, and, and I have to tell you a story. When I was a Girl Scout selling Girl Scout cookies, I felt so guilty taking those 50 cents. That's about what they cost. I think they were 25 cents one year, I think 50 cents another. And I remember the year that the cookies went up to a dollar a box. I was so embarrassed to collect the money from people who were buying cookies. But it's like, wait a minute, this is just a box of cookies. It's just a dollar. But for a kid, I'm just, just to let you know, I was not a bored salesperson at all, But but I'm just trying to you know, let you all know where the stuff is if you're looking for it. Um, I try to do only good things and, you know, I, 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 I yeah, anyway, moving on. Um, let's see, we have April Hume. Hey, April, thank you so much for joining us today. And um, let's see, Love to Craft is there. She's waving at us, thank you. And um, let's see, we have Wanda, the backwards wrong side crocheter. Hey, Wanda, I hope you're doing well out there on those roads. I tell you, I admire you, my friend, having driven around the Atlanta um, Beltway yesterday nearing rush hour. I was just glad to be alive <laughs> after that experience. It is far worse than anything I've ever had around Washington, D.C. I am not kidding you. Um, you guys are crazy down here who, who drive around Atlanta. That's you guys are just crazy. <laughs> love you. I don't love those crazy drivers, though. Um, hey, thank you, Tracy. Golly, goodness gracious. We have uh, Tammy from Oregon. She says it's going to be 87 today. Wow. Well, enjoy your summer while you can. You know that's going to change, right? And um, let's see. We have, we have Swati from L L.A., and hey, Swati, so glad you can join join me today. Um, Daniel, and we have Cindy Hawk and Coffee Hour from Finland. Wow. And uh, thank you again, Esther and Hannah, for being there. I'm just coming up on your comments. And um, yeah, Tracy says, woohoo, 10 days, can't wait. Got my yarn ready. Yay. I'm so, I wish I could show you the product, but I can't show it to you because it's a mystery crochet along, right? 
but I finished it and I'm really excited about it. We have Laureen in the chat. She says, hi, Bonnie. Hope you and yours are well. Have a blessed day. Thank you so much, Lorena. And um, Jane Scott and Cynthia Burke and Leon from the Isle of Wight. Whew. I have to put that on my schedule to travel at some point. That would be so much fun to see some of those islands. And we have Sandra. Hey, Sandra. Uh, so glad to see you there. And we have Bobby, the book fanatic. Um, and guys, Bobby, I, I hope you're doing well today, Bobby. I know. Thank you guys for just continuing to pray for Bobby. He's he's a, who's our, our friend who's from Kentucky. He's had uh, he had a broken femur, had to have surgery. And um, thank you for praying for him. Just please continue to pray for him. Oh, thank you, Mabel. We're going to add $20 to our kitty. So that's going to bring us up to, I believe, $50 um, towards our next song. Um, just thank you so much for your, your kindness there. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, those who, who give to the Super Chat, that gets collected. Um, I take care of any fees involved there, and that is a total donation that goes to either Rancho 3M in Guadalupe, Mexico, or the Shriners Hospital for Children. Just to let you know, those are the two, the two, um, or at t two charities that are near and dear to my heart, amongst others. But those are the two that I designate for the super chat. So thank you for doing that. Um, Hannah has is giving me some questions here. Um, Cynthia Burke is asking for prayers for very good friends, for her very good friend's mother who died this week from lymphoma and a funeral is today, 59 years old and mother of five. Wow. That, that is, that, that is so sad, Cynthia. So those of you who are praying people, please, please keep Cynthia's friend in prayer. Um, uh, Charlene Lucas, um, asking about not receiving a pattern book. Um, Charlene, I've mailed those things out. Um, if you want to contact me, um, a better place to talk about that would probably be my email. So bonniebay at me.com. If you could email me, um, I know if we've talked about this before, um, it's in the mail. So I don't know what's happened to it. Um, and I'll have to check my emails, but I'm pretty sure if I emailed that, that I probably, I think I, most of the time I do get tracking on these. Sometimes if I mail them from my home, I mail them first class and then I don't have tracking. But contact me at my email, bonniebayatme.com, and we can work that out. I do stick by my word. I don't want anybody thinking that I don't send out books because I give them away all the time. So um, anyway, I maybe we can work that out. Um, okay, thank you for, for letting me know. But again, get in touch with me. Um, I'm available. I answer all my emails. So just to let you know, and I'm the one doing it. There's nobody else um, working for me in that regard. Um, really wish there were, but but it's all me. Um, we have Deborah, Deborah Woods says, good morning to everyone. Ready for more inspiration today? Ah, Deborah, I hope I can give that to you. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the, the crochet along. Well, let me go ahead. Uh, well, let me, let me just get through some more of these comments because I'm going to really make an effort here. I, I always do, but it just seems like I run out of time. Um, and, and by the way, uh, Wanda wants to know how Bobby's doing. Um, Bobby, I don't know if you wanted to to answer folks in the chat. Uh, if anybody wants to to be a you know kind of an email pal with Bobby, please send me an email, bonniebay at me.com. I just want to kind of verify that that is a real person and. Uh, before I send it on to Bobby, but um, he could really use some, you know, some interaction online if you have the time to, to do that. He is pretty much by himself in a nursing home, and and to top all things off, coming home from the hospital, you have to go into a two-week uh, isolation period or, or quarantine, so he's not really allowed to have visitors even, so, you know, I know he would really appreciate that. Um, Hannah sent me another question Danielle Pond is looking for a new project ideas since she just finished a cable throw. Um, Danielle, um, what I would recommend you do is, is go to my homepage. And once you go to the homepage, um, across the top, you'll see um, like home, then it'll say video, I guess from this side, home, videos, and then there's one that says playlist. So if you click on playlist, it'll bring up a lot of different categories 
And then, you know, look under each of those categories. Um, like if you want to do a shawl or a stole or a poncho, um, just click on that and you'll find many in each category, I promise you. And if you're looking for another throw, I've got literally dozens of them in there. Um, so, so definitely check that out. Also, I have a, a, a mystery crochet along starting in 10 days. And each week we are, let's talk a little bit about that. Um, each week for this mystery crochet along, I'm going to crochet a square. It's going to be a highly texturized square. Um, and each week it's going to be different. And so in order to make this mystery throw, I'm giving away a lot of the clues, but um, you still don't know what it looks like. And that's probably key. You don't know, know what it looks like. So, um, and what you'll do is you will make four of those squares that week. And, um, and so each week you will add four more squares at the end of five weeks, you'll have a total of 20 squares. And then in week six, I'll show you how to put it together and with a special trim. You can use, I'm, I'm recommending, uh, well, I'm, I'm using paint box, uh, love crafts, paint box yarns. And you can get all this information on my blog post if you go to my website, which is bonniebaycrochet.com, and you click on blog, all the information you need is right there. And there's even a video. The video is also on the home page of my channel uh, right here. So you don't even have to go to the blog if you don't want to. Um, and you can just watch that video on all, all that it describes and you should be good to go. If you can't afford or don't want to add yarn to your stash, no problem. Get all of the worsted weight. Oh, thank you so much, Archer Nace. So now we're up to $55. Thank you so much for that. You're so sweet. Um, so you can use uh, five different colors for the squares plus an additional color. So there's really a total of six different colors, five colors for the squares plus an additional color. I, I recommend either you know, a dark or a strong neutral to put them all together, something that will, you know, complement all the colors. Or you can make them all one color. Or you can even, if you have, let's say, a whole lot of, you know, worsted weight yarn in your stash, just make each square a different color if you're into that. You can do whatever you want. You can do 20 squares. If you want to make it to fit a king size bed, you can make it 30 squares. You can do whatever you want. You are, um, you know, you're free to design as you wish. And and quite frankly, the, the border that I'm going to have you do will be pretty, pretty flexible. I mean, um, you can always add additional squares. You might have to, uh, you know, skip a, skip a stitch here, you know, kind of ease in a stitch here or there, but it's manageable. I mean, if you, you can do that, if you can get through the squares themselves, you'll be able to manage the, the, uh, the trim in the end. Um, I have another question. Um, is it, is it Dibazmita? If I'm saying that Chatterjee ask, are you into mosaic crochet? Loved your cable crochet work. It would be great if you could show men's cabled sweater. Um, well, I have not really done a lot of mosaic uh, crochet. That's a lot more color work. Um, I probably could do it, but that's just not my forte right now. Um, there are many other excellent crochet designers out there that are doing a you know, knock it out of the park job doing it. And I just encourage you to, you know, check out some of the other designs that you see trending that you like. And, and there are so many other, you know, YouTube channels. I can't think of any specifically right now, but um, I, I would definitely, you know, check out other sources because it's going to be a while before I get to something like that if I ever do. Um, as far as a men's cabled sweater, I do have a sweater that is for men or women. It is sized for both. It's in my Lovecraft store. It's called Bonnie's Erin Cable Sweater, I believe. But if you go to my Lovecraft store, the, the link is in the video description below. You'll see me wearing this sweater with a, um, with a Saxon cable down the front of it. That has been sized for men or women. You know, it's a very standard Erin styling kind of, a, kind of a sweater. And I hope you can check that one out. Thank you for sending the questions, Hannah. I so appreciate that. Uh, oh, we have Melinda from Centennial, Colorado. Yay, Melinda. 
Um, that reminds me, next spring, towards the end of April, I am planning on being in Loveland, Colorado for the Yarn Fest Festival, if it gets to happen. And I've got my fingers crossed and hoping that it works out because I really, really want to get back to Colorado again. I so loved visiting there one time and I'm ready to go back out west. We have Jane from a rainy Massachusetts. Oh boy. Yeah, we got all that rain a day and a half ago, Jane. I guess you guys are still getting it since you're a bit further east than where I am today. Oh, great. Cynthia says she's got her yarn for the crochet alone and waiting patiently to start. Yeah, I, you know, keep me in your thoughts. I still need to go home and, and edit all of the videos. I did most of the filming while away from home. Um, my video, my editing computer is on my desk in Maryland and awaiting my arrival so I can get to work. So next week I will be chained to that, um, except for probably bathroom and food breaks. <laughs> I have a lot of work to do. I've got like eight or nine videos because besides this, I worked on two brand new designs that I haven't even shown you guys yet. And I'm really excited about those as well. Um, Got to keep you busy, right? Uh, thank you for looking out for Bobby Tracy. That is so kind of you. Um, and we have Kim Anderson from a, okay, I think I just read that. Did I just read that? No, that was Jane. Uh, from Massachusetts and then Kim from rainy Massachusetts. Yay. <laughs> you guys got two of you up there watching. Thank you. Um, love that area. Used to live up there, up in Andover. My first year of marriage. Wow. Back in 1988, long time ago. Um, oh, wow. Wanda, she says, went through Noonan, Georgia Wednesday afternoon was waving and yelling to Becky, <laughs> yelling, hey to Becky. Oh, thank you, Wanda. Um, I'll have to have to talk to you more about that at some point. Uh, we have to get together. Uh, we just missed each other, you know, by a day or so. Um, we have Donna Doolittle, wow, from Oregon. We have Barbara Bolton, she says, love your books. I prefer paper. I have most of your books and this winter I am dedicating to cables. Yeah, thank you for your support, bro. I really cannot do what I do without people like you. I really can't. But thank you, thank you, thank you. And and I am too. I am, I order books all the time. I if if I I do have books. What's funny is I have evaluated books. People sometimes ask me to you know evaluate a book. And this is it's been a while since I've done this. But um, then I'll write a blog post about a book. Uh, I guess this was more before Interweave went bankrupt. That I used to used to. Um, you know, kind of evaluate a lot of books. And um, half the time they would send them to me as a PDF. So they're in my computer somewhere, but I promise you they're lost in my mind. I, you know, I have to have a book sitting on my desk, on my shelf, and um, I go through them quite often. Even if I don't do the actual patterns, I use a lot of those for inspiration, just to, just to try to remind myself, what can I do with this stitch? You know, what can we do differently? And um, I want to be very careful to not duplicate anything anybody else has done. But you know what I'm saying. Um, you can be inspired by another's work, but to go in a different direction or to maybe to add an element, you know, to what you're already doing. Um, and I just love to have the books sitting around. They they are wonderful. I again, I I would lose it if it if it got into my cyber screen, cyberspace thing. Um, Okay, um, is it Neil J? If I'm saying that right, is curious to know what kind of blanket is hanging behind you. Okay, um, well, let's take a look at this. Um, I, I actually put this over the back of the chair so that you wouldn't see the other thing that my kids had on the back. But this is, this is a blanket made up of squares um, that were crocheted together. And this is, uh, it's called the Tan Sampler it's in the, I'm trying to uh, get tangled in this wire. It's in my leaflet called Erin Afghans to Crochet. I, I talked about this at the beginning of the broadcast. It was the very first publication that I ever got. And that's kind of the thing that helped me to transition um, from a homeschool mom. This was, I was getting ready, uh, was still had, still had some high school students, but 
um, kind of, that's where I tapped into the publication world at that point. That was 2009. So um, this is called the Tan Sampler. It is, it's an Afghan that, you know, that goes on a bed. Um, and that's available at leisurearts.com or you can look, um, yeah, you can have to, um, it's available only as a PDF at this point. The books are no longer in print. I, don't ask why they don't print them anymore. I don't know, but um, because I think cable crochet is, is kind of, kind of big right now. I mean, it's, it's, it's big in the fashion industry. You know, you go to the stores, you see cables everywhere in blankets, you know, you go to home goods, um, you know, in your, you know, different areas, you know, looking at blankets and things, you know, cables are in, I don't know why they wouldn't, um, publish it, um, as a, as a leaflet. And I've asked them to please reconsider, but I, I haven't gotten any word back on that. Um, but the PDFs are available and I guess you can always, you know, print them out and put them in a, in a book. And that's what I would need to do and to stumble over it. I had some extra copies about a year ago and I put them in my Etsy store to clear them out. Um, so, but, but yeah, that, that, that's a leisure arts pattern. Unfortunately, I don't, I don't own the pattern anymore because when you publish and you sell to a publishing company, they have all the rights to it. So you'd have to go through them to get that. Um, and if you, you know, if you get in contact with them, tell them, Hey, you should print this. <laughs> I think if enough people say, Hey, I want a printed copy, maybe, maybe they'll do it. I don't know. Um, but that's something you can check out. I, I wish, I wish, um, Amazon would print it because they've got the, the print on demand. I mean, they should work something out there, but, but anyway, um, yeah, let me, let me, thank you, Hannah, for, for the prompt there, sweetheart. You're a good manager. Um, hmm. We have Zandra from Southern California. Wow, what a great name. Um, and Archer Nace says, my Bonnie book binder is up to about 20 pounds of your patterns. I take the books apart carefully to add the patterns I love. Oh, that's funny. Thank you for your support, my goodness. Um, that kind of reminds me, I do collect, I mean, this is going to sound so incredibly vain, but whenever I get a pattern published in the magazine, I still feel like a kid in a, in a candy shop when that happens. And um, I will save the magazine. And at this point, I have three binders that are about this thick with all the magazines in it. And it's still fun. I, I think that's, it's going to sound really vain, but I think in addition to my, my family photos, if, if, if all my people, if we ever had, it's one of those things, if you ever have a fire, what would you grab? Um, and, and of course, assuming that everybody and all your pets are out of the house, it's like, well, um, I used to think my musical instruments, but now I'm thinking, well, I could get new instruments, but I would love to have my publications in my family photos come with me. Um, the rest is, is totally replaceable, but, um, I get that with your binders. I've got three of them. And, and they, they weigh a lot. They're, they're heavy. Paper is heavy. Yeah. We have Sonia. But thank you, Archer Nace. That's funny. <laughs> oh, that's, you're very sweet. Um, we have Sonia from France. Wow. Hey, Sonia. I hope you are doing well. We have Susan A.B. Um, and see. Uh, oh, thank you, Hannah, for giving her that link so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and Cynthia says she's got her yarn. I think I read that earlier when it came in live. Ann Butler, hello, Bonnie, and BBC. Oh, Bonnie Big Crochet, that's funny. Family from sunny Northwest Indiana. Yeah, I wish I could coin that BBC <laughs> initial, but I don't think people would think of crochet with that, but that that's great. Uh, and let's see. We have Ms. Condor in our chat. And, uh-oh, Tracy says she got a newsletter from Emily at Lamb Shop Kits that her son is having surgery. I need to re I need to go take a look at that, Tracy. I did not see that. I've been on the road and away from home. Maybe I need to take more care. I did not know that. Thank you for the prompt. I will check on that once I'm done with the, the live today. Um, Kelly Hart says, I had my KCG 
where they biopsied and put a camera inside to look around. My doctor said she didn't find anything too alarming, so won't get the results until October 1st. Okay, Kelly, I fingers crossed, my friend, and prayers for you. I hope things are okay or not as bad as you could think. Um, wishing you all the best and, and a quick, quick road to recovery. We have Calming Waters. Well, what a cool name. Um, it says, I bought the book with the pattern behind simply for that pattern. Again, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you guys for taking care of Kelly. I'm just reading through the comments real quick. Uh, <laughs> and Hannah says to Sandra, yeah, the fashion from the 70s, 80s, and 90s have, have made a comeback apparently. Yeah, there's some things that came back from that. And I tell you, I'm not going to touch it with the 10-foot pole. <laughs> Went through it once. I'll sum not all the fat. I love some of the fashions, but some of them, woo, yeah. Uh, some of those colors from the 70s probably should stay in the 70s. <laughs> uh, like the orange and bright green wallpaper with the big flowers on it. Uh, yeah. All right, let me see if I can get to some more of your comments. We have Lior... Leora from Canada. She says, our trees are turned already. We're having a beautiful fall. Hope you are well and safe. Wow. Yeah, things are very green here. I think by the time, I think they were starting to turn just a teeny weeny bit up in Maryland. By the time I get back, um, there probably won't even be any leaves on the trees. I don't know. And is it Dibasmita? Says, when did you start crocheting and who... Who was your inspiration? I started when I was seven. And I guess my inspiration was my next door neighbor. Two, two women. My next door neighbor who was making a giant granny square bedspread. Just one big granny square where you go round and round and round eternally, it seems. Um, and... I, I saw her making that and I, I wanted to make one. And she taught me, she started me off on the center part and got me started. And that's where I learned my stitches. My st I still have the Afghan. And actually there is a video on that story in my, uh, it, it's in my, on my channel. So you'd have to, where is it? I think it would be, um, you can just, you can just type in my first crochet project and it should come up. And, and that'll tell you a lot more details, but it was my, my neighbor, Claire, and of her, that was her name, Mrs. Cox, I guess is what I would call her. And, um, and then my friend's mom, my best friend, um, Mrs. Stone, uh, she taught me how to read patterns because her, her daughter, Becky, was my best friend from second grade on. And, um, I uh, can't say too much about her because I'll start crying. She's been with the Lord a number of years. She she was in a tragic car accident when she was 28 years old, um, leaving two young young boys behind. But um, she would always come to school wearing the most gorgeous shawls and ponchos. And yes, even in South Florida, when you are indoors in air conditioning, you always need to have a sweater or a shawl or something just to survive because it gets so cold indoors. And so she would wear all these things to school. And um, and I got to know her mom. And her mom taught me how to crochet. She taught me how to read crochet patterns. And and even, you know, for an 8, 9, 10-year-old, I mean, I was I was reading some pretty complicated stuff, I think. I, and I would oftentimes show up on her doorstep um, knocking on her door. I would always be over there either playing with her daughter or, you know, knocking on her door, Mrs. Stone, what does this mean? And she would explain, what does repeat from the asterisk? What does this mean? And and she under, she explained to me how to read, you know, how to understand uh, what's inside brackets and all of that stuff. So um, she showed me the roadmap and helped me to understand it. And from that point on, I was good to go. Uh, so I just, just cannot say enough about that sweet woman. And of course, her wonderful daughter, Ah, oh, can't wait to see her again. Um, Rosandra One says, Bonnie, I've been seeing a trend lately, crochet knit stitch and a crochet pearl stitch. Have you tried these stitches out? Um, 
a crochet. Okay, maybe you're talking about the Tunisian crochet. That's probably what you're referring to because, um, okay, and then another question, Hannah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back to your question, Roseanne, Rosandra. Um, no, the, the Lovecraft shop does not have this pattern. This is only in the Leisure Arts leaflet Air and Afghans to crochet. And, and again, the reason for that is I don't own the rights to the pattern. And I I stick to copyright and contractual agreements um, like, rock, like a rock. Like, you know, I, I honor that. That's my word. When I sign it into a contract, um, you know, that's how the early days, that's how you got paid for your work is you'd have to sign over your work to a company and they would print it and then sell it and then you would get kind of a trickle from that in income. Um, so now I don't own the rights to the pattern. So I can just kind of point you to leisurearts.com and uh, leisurearts.com and this is in the leaflet called Aaron Afghans to Crochet by Bonnie Barker. Uh, it was published in, uh, I think, 2009, 2010, around in there. And it's only available as a PDF or a Kindle download. Uh, but but you can you can check. Let, let me let me do a let me do a really quick check here. Um, give me a second. Let me let me look at Amazon. Because I thought that the Amazon might have been printing these again, but I could be wrong. Okay, it okay. I, no, I was that was no. I, it's only available as a PDF. It is on Amazon. If you're if you want to even go to Amazon, um, I'll go ahead and this is not an affiliate link. This is just a link that I just looked up. So um, I'll go ahead and put the link in the chat right now. Probably should have capitalized the word crochet, but anyway, I just put it in the in the chat, and um, so if you wanted to to check that out, it's actually a pretty good deal. You're gonna get what is it one two? I think it's five patterns for seven ninety nine. There are no videos for that um, specifically. Again, I've had a really hard time getting permission from them to to do video tutorials, but most all of the stitches, actually all of the stitches that I use in those patterns are in a playlist called the Erin Celtic Crochet Stitches on this channel. So if you go to the playlist and you can uh, find where the playlist is for all those stitches. So it, it's just that with those earlier patterns, be sure that you read the pattern. Um, the The videos are there as a as a secondary source, just to let you know if that makes sense. The written pattern is primary. It's, it's kind of like um, the pattern is king, but the videos, the videos are like uh, they're there to serve. They're there to serve. So um, if if you know, always defer to the pattern above the video because some of these uh, stitches there are more. There is more than one way to end a round or a, or a row in different ways to start them. So depending on the stitch count that you're working with. I know this is probably confusing, but um, there, you can do things in different ways. It's not, there's not just one way to do things. So if the video is different, do what the pattern says in that regard. Oh, wannabe crocheter or knitter. She says, I wanna say thank you, Bonnie, for liking my sweater dress. Girl, that was, that was a sweet idea. That looked really, really cool. Um, thank you for letting me share that. And, and I know a lot of the people were really inspired by your work. Thank you so much for sending that in. Um, Tammy says to Hannah, I think the colors and styles have been coming back so happy. Yeah, yeah, I think talking about the different styles. Um, let me see if I missed anything. Okay, I think I'm on track here. If I missed you, I promise you guys, I am not doing it on purpose. I'm just trying to be really careful and I'm reading these as they in the order that they come into my personal feed here. And I know that it can vary sometimes. Oh, we have Harriet in the chat from Michigan. Hey, Harriet. Um, 
I feel so weird saying that name again because that was my mother's name and I never called my mother by her name. I always called her mom or mommy or something like that. Eh, mostly mom. Um, Sandra tells, uh, telling wannabe crochet, I just made me a crochet skirt and crop top to match. I love it. Yeah, Sandra, you're really rocking those skirts, girl. Those look really cool. Uh, and Han is talking about the, the American, is it the doll company American Girl came out with a girl from the 80s and I'm still not sure what to think about it. I haven't seen that, Hannah. I have to take a look and see what that's all about. I wasn't real keen on the stuff they came out with for the girls in the 70s. I was like, yeah. But anyway, that's just me. Um, all right, I, I'm just going to keep pushing forward here. And Sandra says she um, she made her brother-in-law a big granny square afghan for Christmas one year. Yeah, they were really, I mean, I think that's just always going to be a staple in what we do. It was a pretty standard thing back in the 70s. Let's see, when did I learn? Yeah, I learned in the early 70s. Um, so I'm giving, yeah, giving my age away a little bit, but I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I always tell people life doesn't even start until you're 50 and over. I, I'm just really, really, really enjoying this phase of life. Really, um, uh, not quite lost my filter, but I'm getting there close to have almost completely lost it at times to my, my kids chagrin sometimes. But anyway, um, it's just, there's just a new, new freedom you get with not having to be conforming and Worrying about what other people think. Uh, yes, Elusive73 says, Oh, what a kind lady to teach you. Yes, both of them were very, maybe part of it might have been they just wanted to get rid of me, so they wanted to teach me quickly so they could get me out of their hair. I don't know. But um, but I, I still remember um, Mrs. Stone, and I've stopped by her house two or three times um, since they moved far, far away and was have been able to visit them. And um, dear people, I've not been able to visit my neighbor. I've not seen her since, uh, probably since the 80s. I hope she is well. Don't have a way to get in touch with her though. Let me see, Hannah, I think had another. Hold on a second, guys. There we go. Ah. Okay, Tammy H is wondering if I'll be making or releasing new fall hats since she made the pumpkin hat. Um, no, I don't have any plans for new fall hats, Tammy, but but thank you for that question. I, I do have a scarf coming out to match the popcorn hat. Um, that would look kind of cool in fall colors as well. So that'll be coming out, uh, probably not the fall though. Or, if it's, it'd probably be very late in the fall if it does come out. I'm either going to do it in the, you know, after the Christmas holidays. I, I generally don't like to release a lot during the month of December because I know you guys have other things to do. I, I know usually when December hits, the viewership on YouTube, like it's right about here. If, if as, hypothetically, if it's up here with views, um, right after Thanksgiving, it kind of takes a nosedive and plummets. And so I don't really want to release really fun patterns if people are, don't, they don't have the time to watch. So, uh, okay. Hannah's asking again, she said, people are still asking about the blanket behind me. Um, to be honest with you, I just put this here because I'm at my daughter's house and this is just, I think uh, this was a staple in my home for like 10 years in my living room. And when the kids moved out, it went with them. So, which I, I'm, I'm flattered, uh, <laughs> but it's the only thing that I have crochet to show you. But this is a very old pattern. I, I mentioned it before. It's, it's from the Leisure Arts leaflet, Aaron Afghans to Crochet. I did put the, the link in the description and I'll add it to the, uh, I'm going to add that link to the, the, the desc video description once this, finishes airing for the people who are watching the rebroadcast but it, it is a leisure arts pattern and I don't have any video tutorials for these but like I said if you go to my uh, playlist and look for the Erin Celtic stitches all of the stitches on how to do the stitches are listed so if you have the pattern you can always look at those um, to get the stitches 
sorry for the redundancy of all that, but I'm just trying to trying to trying to answer the questions. Um, okay. Okay, Rolanda wants to know, will I ever do a complete video for the Orlaith robe sweater left-handed? Actually, there's already one on my channel, Rolanda. Um, if you look under, if you just Google or go to my, my, my homepage and then the little search bar, put Orlaith robe sweater and, and left-handed, put the words left-handed in there. You should bring up the whole uh, video series there. There are a, several videos that you have to watch one after the other, but they are there already on my channel. If you have any trouble finding them um, in the search bar, just just email me, bonniebay at me.com, and I'll be, be glad to send, send you the direct link. Um, is the blanket called Celtic Cable Throw? This one behind me, I don't know if this one you're asking about, Hannah, this one behind me is called the Tan Sampler. Okay, it's where you make one square, and then you make as many of that, that square um, as you would like to make up the the throw. All right. Uh, hold on a second. I'm just looking through. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you guys. Is it is it Dibas Mida? I, I know I'm probably murdering that name. I'm really sorry, but thank you for your kind comment. Um, and we have Linda. She says, hi from Northern Ireland. Hope everyone is well. Well, I hope you're staying warm, Linda. I imagine it's getting a little chilly up there these days. How wonderful to hear from somebody from uh, a country that's near and dear to my heart. I just cannot wait to go back. I want to go to Northern Ireland this time. I, I, I saw more the southern part and, and the southeastern part and, and, and spent some time in Dublin while my husband was working at a conference, but I cannot wait to just travel the whole. I want to see see the northern part as well. Um, and is it Leora is talking with Hannah about um, the reds in the eastern Canada. We get we have different shades of yellow and some reds. I live in western Canada, and we get fall early. We have already had our first frost. <clears throat> yeah. Whew. She's already got her ponchos and her sweaters out, I'm sure. Um, yeah, Roseanne just talking about some YouTube channel. Yeah, I don't mind. Yeah, I don't mind mentioning, you know, if you want to mention others, Rosandra. I'm really not offended. Um, I don't kick people off and stuff over things like that. I promise you, I'm not that militant here. Um, although, you know, not here to advertise for everybody else, but you know, if you want to mention something, I, I really honestly don't mind. Um, this is, should be a place where we share what we love anyway. Uh, we have Priscilla from Canton, Georgia. Hey, hey neighbor, <laughs> I'm probably not that far from you. I need to look at the map to find out where that is though. My geography is not real strong in this part of the world. Uh, hey, Michelle M says, hello, arriving late, but made it, yay. Um, and I got Tammy's question. Uh, doo, 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 doo. Oh, thank you, Cynthia, said she was able to download Aaron Afghans. I hope that works out for you. I, I wish I had more copies. I really do. I, you know, I, I just kind of cleared them out. I do have some copies, um, but I really, it probably would be unethical to sell them because <laughs> at one point they did a printing and um, they printed uh, they put the wrong picture on the cover. And so what ended up happening is I was at a store and I, I saw this and I'm like, oh, that's mine, but that's not the right cover. And I looked inside and they printed, um, there, were, there were patterns for five Afghans, but they only had pictures for four. So the front green Afghan, the um, air, the sage green, there was no picture in it. So you had to try to crochet this thing without a picture anywhere. So I got on the phone and talked to Leisure Arts and, and, I, and I would go into stores and pick them out and say, guys, this, this, is, this needs to be returned to the publisher. <laughs> so I have some of those copies, but there's a picture you don't even get of one of the Afghans. So, you know, anyway, I have some of those, but I probably should throw them away. But, but anyway, all the things that happen when you, you know, other people are involved that I had nothing to do with what happened there, but... 
That's why if you, and I'll put a plug in for, for designers everywhere, whether it's crochet, knit, or whatever. If you find issues with the patterns and it's professionally published, please, please, please don't go tell the world, oh, their patterns are full of errors because I have met people at conferences that have done that to other designers. And quite frankly, actually to me, it amounts to gossip and slander. Um, but a lot of times, and I've expressed this before, when you're working, you know, we are all human. We all make mistakes. None of us are perfect, um, far from it. But we do our very best. We do our absolute very best that we can. Um, and if you have issues with a publication, please come to me. Please come to me. I will make it right. I, I will do whatever I can to make it right. Um, or if you find another, you know, author or, or book author of any subject matter, really go to them or go to the publisher and, and, and kindly bring it to their attention. They may have no idea. Uh, and then once, you know, it, hopefully it'll be fixed or there'll be an you know, errata or something um, written up so that people can refer to it. And that's what I have tried to do. The issues that I'm aware of, and there are some in some of my publications that, that I don't own, um, I will, I have errata pages for, for the f first two books. And, um, you know, I, it's with regret that there are any issues at all. But again, um, you take, it's, if you can imagine your favorite cake recipe or something, and let's suppose you're really great at fixing a particular meal or, or a cake recipe, but then you invite 20 new people into your kitchen who are going to help you. And um, no matter how great they are at helping you, they're still humans. And, and if anybody overlooks something, there's going to be a mistake entered in. So you multiply that times 20. I mean, and that's what it's like to work with publication companies is you have many hands working on something and they are very good at what they do. But there is always the, the chance that they're not going to be as thorough as you want to be yourself. And, um, and that's what happens. And, and anyway, all that to say is, you know, I have heard people say that about a, another designer who is my friend and um, she's extremely popular. She is one of the best designers out there in crochet and um, it was a teacher actually. I won't mention any names because I don't want to be guilty of gossip and slander either, but just mentioned to me, oh, their patterns are full of, they're you know, full of errors and I'm thinking she has no idea that that's, this lady is my friend. <laughs> And I just kind of walked away from it. And I'm like, I don't want to hear this. I mean, that, that's ridiculous. And besides, I have worked out of her books and I did not find that to be true at all. Uh, okay, so I don't know why I went into all of that. But um, but anyway, anyway, I did. But but thank you, thank you, thank you. I know because I there was a pattern that came out and they put the wrong pictures in it. That's what it was. So um, things do happen sometimes, but um, all that to say, I'm not going to get rid of those and I'm not going to give them to anybody because they, they, have, they have a lot of problems with them. In fact, I have a whole box that I ordered and don't know what to do with that. That was many years ago. Thankfully, they corrected that, but um, there, still, there still could be some out there that have the wrong cover. Um, and if that's you, I would contact Leisure Arts or contact me and we can get it worked out. All right, um, we have, yeah, Mary, Mary Force says, hi, Bonnie, and hi at Bag of Day Crochet Crystal. Really, is Bag of Day Crochet Crystal here? If you're here, hey, <laughs> I would love to, I would love to do something with you, um, at some point, but, um, but wow, that'd be cool. Um, I love meeting other crocheters. Everybody's got such a different take on things, and I love it. Um, all right, uh, we have Sarah. She's like, whew, made it. Uh, Sarah Brock, so glad that you could. We have Isabel. Says, it's been an interesting new way to crochet. I thought I was an expert, and after been working with this one, I see a lot more ways to crochet. Whew. Oh, Isabel, let me tell you something. Um, I thought in my pride that, that I, too, knew everything about crochet. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> And then I took the class for certification for the Craft Yarn Council of America. I got both the uh, part one and part two of the, the certifications years ago. And I learned a lot of stuff. And I thought, wow, I've never seen this kind of stuff before. I learned broomstick, um, learned a little bit of, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I can't even remember the name of it. Um, but I learned Tunisian uh, and some other techniques that I just you know, just wasn't that interested in really. 
uh, but I was able to learn some of that and I had to work with thread for the first time and learned that I am not a thread crocheter, but I did have to complete some projects, which I did dutifully. And um, yeah, so there, there, there's a lot more to it. And if you want to look at some really cool Tunisian crochet that I am I am not going to do on my channel, just to let you know, because um, this is my friend's niche and she is fantastic at it. Um, Sandy Walker, I've talked about her before. She's, she's really, really wonderful. And it's very, very great at designing unique Tunisian things. It's, again, getting back to the question about uh, creating knits and pearls with crochet hooks. Sandy's the, the go-to person. Also, if you're into the um, the Tunisian, the Fair Isle Tunisian, she does some of that. And my friend Brenda Borg also has a great book on, on Fair Isle Tunisian crochet. So if you want to up the ante with you know, your color work and everything, check out those two designers. They are, they're amazing. So I am just, I know what I like and I'm sticking to it, but yeah, there are a lot of ways to, a lot more things out there that can be learned. And then I picked up uh, knitting needles to learn knitting and really, and I'm enjoying that. I'm learning the, lear enjoying the learning process, but, but um, crochet is like breathing. I've got to do it. It's my, my mojo for sure. We have Rolanda. Uh, oh, she's amening, amening something from Charlene, but I'll take that. Uh, all right, uh, let me keep on going here. I uh, see, I don't know how far I'm getting on to this, Hannah. Okay, thank you, Hannah. You're okay. Oh, I see Johnny's in the chat. Hey, Johnny, I'm just running across your comment. And um, Lynn Underwood from Indianapolis. And um, hey, uh, Tracy Hamilton. Uh, I'm going backwards here, guys. Um, are we allowed to show you what we are working on if someone else's pattern on your Facebook page? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I, I, I love to see what you guys are working on. It doesn't have to be my stuff, I promise. We have Dawn. I mean, I don't want it to turn into <laughs> somebody else's ads, but um, but but sure. I mean, I love love to see what you guys are working on. Uh, absolutely. I'm just one person. Uh, and Dawn says, I've been crocheting for many years, still learning all the time. Love it. Never bored. Yeah, same here. Um, Barbara says, thanks for sharing your crochet story. Yeah, love my grandmother. My grandma taught me fantastic time. My mom did doilies and I'm so grateful she gave me some. Wow, that's great. And uh, Johnny says crocheted blankets for my crocheted blankets for my sons when I first started crocheting. Time to make them both body barker high end throws. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's so much fun. Well. There is one other thing. I remembered it. My brain kicked in because of Hannah's prompting there. One thing I wanted to make mention is that, um, and I do mention this in, I'm going to add this to the videos for the, the mystery crochet along, but I want to collect uh, a, a series of pictures or photos of your work from this mystery crochet along. So if, if you could just kind of put a, put a mental note, if you want to participate, I would love it if you could participate with the mystery throw. I will take partial photos. I'll take complete photos of your work. It doesn't matter. But what I'll do is I want to take, you know, as many photos as I can and put them together in a video uh, with some music behind it that I can show as a showcase once we are done with this. And I'm setting a deadline. Um, I'm gonna try to keep it sort of hard and fast just because of the holiday season upon us. And I think it would be fun to to watch this during December because I, I think you guys are gonna to be too busy to just jump into a brand new project. I, I, I don't mean to assume that, but I just know that the majority of people out there are gonna be up to here with holiday prep and and gift giving and, and celebrations and, and whatnot. I mean, I know I will be, I will be pretty slammed on trying to, you know, make holiday plans and, and, uh, 
especially this year because last year we couldn't celebrate Christmas with our family. Our kids, I, I was separate from everybody. I was even away from my husband. I was in South Carolina um, with my mother-in-law um, because we were not able to travel because of the the rules and the pandem pan pandemic and all that. So, so this year we are celebrating Christmas and I'm gonna probably go over the top to make up for it because I want to. I really want to be out there and and celebrating my Lord's birth in, in a in a proper way this time. So all that to say, if you participate in the crochet along, the deadline is going to be December first for the photos. So the crochet along will will wrap up the videos. The last video will be, I believe, the second week in November. So I'm hoping the deadline serves you. You don't have to complete, obviously you don't have to have it done by December 1st. You can finish these Afghans whenever. I, this, this is just my deadline for those who wanna participate in having their photo included, their photo of the throw included. You don't have to attach your name. Most people probably don't want your name attached to it, but if you wanna put a little watermark of your name on the throw, that would be fine with me. I'm not gonna be adding watermarks. Uh, I'm not gonna be putting your name on anything because I wanna respect your privacy. But if you wanna put, like if you have a little Etsy shop, something, I have no problem with you putting, you know, putting your name on it, on, you know, on the picture and that will show on the public video. So just to let you know, um, it, it, it will be, if you submit the photo, to me to put in the showcase, then it's gonna be on my channel. It's gonna be, you know, one of the many pictures on there. So so just keep that in mind. Uh, I know that when I have a deadline looming, deadline looming over my head for something, that motivates me like nothing else. So if that motivates you in a good way, you're welcome. If it terrifies you, and and then don't worry about it. All it means is that the picture won't be included if I get enough pushback from people saying, oh, I'll push it back, you know, I, I, you know what, I'm gonna just keep it December 1st. I'm just, just say hard and fast, you know, pretend that you're in school again. December 1st is the deadline. So, so maybe that'll motivate you. And if you wanna give this as a Christmas gift to somebody, um, you've got one more reason to be motivated. <laughs> so, so anyway, so December 1st will be the deadline for receiving photos of your completed projects. Now, if you don't have the project completed entirely, just send me a partial and that's fine. And if you wanna be in the picture, that's fine with me. If you don't wanna be in a picture, that's fine. If you want your kitty or your doggy to be in a picture, that's great too. Um, you know what? I should probably see if I can get Noel here. We're, we, I probably should end. Um, let me, ah, hold on a second. Hold on one second, guys. Let me let me see if I can go get Noelle because I want you to meet this kitty. Brian, could I get the kitty cat? Hmm? Is Noelle nearby? Oh, she's right here. Can I just... Can I see? She's technically not allowed in this room. Okay, she's not real happy right now. I want you to meet Noelle. Look at the kitty, Noelle. You wanna see? See the kitty? Okay, she's not happy with me. Say hey. <laughs> hmm? You can see, look, you're not allowed in here. You can look around and see what's in the room, huh? See, I don't have animals in my house at home because of allergies with my husband. But it's a lot of fun to hang out with my kids' kitties. Yeah, you ready to go? All right, go on back out. She knows she doesn't. I think she knows she doesn't belong in here, so she's like, I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> she, she, she doesn't know that she's not going to get in trouble. But anyway, all right, let me just see if I can finish out here for the day. Um... Uh, all right. Uh, ah, we have Kat, Kathy agrees with me. Kathy says,
Uh, Sandy Walker is a great Tunisian designer. Love her work. Yeah, she she's the best. I think she really is. Um, or one of the best. Um, I don't want to forget my friend Brenda Berg because she's, she's really, really great too. Um, well, I think I need to, I need to wrap up because I, I told, I told my daughter I'd try to wrap up early, which I didn't do, but, um, <laughs> Brad's mom says she's so cute, but crabby. <laughs> yep. She's just not happy. She's just not happy. She, she also probably, um, I knows that I was hanging out with Felix, which is the, the cat that my son and his, his lovely bride have. And, um, you know, they know when you've been around other kitty cats and they're kind of, hmm, not sure I trust you kind of a thing. Um, she's not as bad about that, but when, after I've held Noel and if I, if, if Felix detects Noel, he will not be happy. But anyway, um, Hannah says, I want a cat so badly. I would, I would love a kitty too. I wouldn't mind a little dog, but cats are so much less work. Um, yeah, and she was a she was a rescue cat too. Um, my kids uh, fell in love with her, um, and brought her home. She's a, been a very great cat. She's about, about doubled in size from the time they got her too. They thought that she was a two year old cat, but I think she was just a kitten because she's really she's really gotten a lot big, bigger. All right. Um, so Melanie was talking about, was it Wings and Rose's Charity? Let me, let me see if I can find out. I didn't see see that in the chat. It probably went by as I was going to get the kitty. Looks like Lauren says she got a new phone. Yay. Uh, okay. Okay, I, I'm sorry. I'm not seeing the comment. I probably. Oh, we have Little Light of Mind. That's a great name. She says, have you ever just felt crocheted out? I feel so bad because sometimes I just stare at patterns in my yarn stash and I feel like I'm crocheted out. Any suggestions? You know what? Take a break from it. I, I can get that way um, sometimes too. And uh, definitely take a break from it. Maybe go for a walk, um, read some books, uh, do something different with your leisure time. Uh, if you knit, you know, sometimes knitting will do it, but you know, sometimes just taking a break from it, you know, will make you hungry for it later. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, all right. Thanks for the recommendation on the Christmas tree skirt, Johnny. I appreciate that. That I really can't wait to break mine out for this year. Uh, and no Ruth, the, the mystery crochet along starts October 4th in 10 more days before we start, before the first video. And let me, let me, let me kind of, um, I'll, I'll wrap up with talking about that a little bit. For this, I, I mentioned it in the videos, but I'll mention it again here. If there's a square you don't like, you don't have to do that, do it. I mean, you can just pick one or two of the five squares and just make the whole throw those if you want. So there are so many options here. Uh, if there's a stitch that you're just uncomfortable with and you're like, I really don't like the way that looks, um, you don't have to make them as squares. Another option is you can make them into pillows. If you don't want to go into the whole ordeal of, of a throw, you can just make pillows out of two of the squares and put a pillow form in between and then just, I would do the neural stitch, or which is the reverse single crochet all the way around the edge. It makes a lovely, a very pillow-like edging. So I, I would definitely do something like that. So, and if you're brand new to some of these stitches, it's just yarn, it's just a square. You don't, it, it, if they become a little, maybe too hard, you may feel like, gosh, gosh, I can't do this. I've never done these before. You know, give it a try and, you know, use some yarn from your stash that's not designated for anything in particular. And, you know, if you don't like it, you just rip it out and roll it back up again. I mean, it doesn't have to be um, a huge investment here. And this was, I look at it too as a time to experiment. In fact, the whole project was birthed out of experimentation with some some fun stitches and putting them together. And that's how a lot of my stitches came into being. It's just, I wonder if I did this, I can form a different cable and boom, you know, that's how some of these cables were invented. Uh, and I've loved, loved doing that. Okay, can I answer Tracy's question? Let me see. Tracy is wondering if you can do a show and tell for maybe once a month. Hmm. Well, I'm wondering what you would mean 
by that, Tracy. You know, like, I mean, I do show projects every so often. I just don't have any with me because I'm traveling. And um, the things that I do have to show are, are part of the mystery uh, crochet online. I can't really show those. But normally I do have more things than just talk. Uh, but if you want to contact me, bonniebay at me.com and, you know, fill me in more about what you might, might want to see, um, I would love to hear from you. Well, um, I just want to say thanks again for watching. I'm going to sign off. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you for Esther for being there. I don't have a specific um, reference, but I do want to just end with a, a verse that, that means a lot to me. Uh, I think it's Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. And it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Rely not on your own understanding. It. Acknowledge the Lord in all, his, in all your ways, and he will make your path straight. All right. Well, God bless you guys. See you next week, hopefully from Maryland. Bye-bye.